This is Kathy McBreen. Did you know that most wealthy households do not believe the age for obtaining Social Security benefits should be increased? As you know, Americans are continually warned that Social Security is running out of money and something has to be done to keep the system solvent. One of the most commonly heard solutions is to raise the age at which one receives Social Security benefits. Right now, Social Security is available at age 65 for those born before 1960 and at age 67 for those born later. In recent research recently conducted by Spectrum Group with affluent households, it was found that 62% do not support increasing the age for Social Security. Men were more likely to support increasing the age at 46% compared to only 29% of women who support that change. As wealth increased, investors were more likely to support the age increase, with 55% of those with more than $5 million supporting the change, compared to only 28% of those with a net worth of one hundred to 500000 of net worth. Those already retired were much less likely to support the change. Only 31% of retired individuals supported the change, compared to 49% of those still working. Younger investors were less likely to support increasing the age for Social Security than older investors. Only 34% of investors under the age of 40 support increasing the age for Social Security, compared to 52% of those 61 and over. Republicans were more likely to support raising the age for Social Security at 41%, compared to 34% of Democrats, and independents weighed in at 38%. And what would be the proper age to receive benefits? 45% of investors indicated that, if raised, the age should be 68 to 69. 41% felt the appropriate age was 70 to 71. 10% felt somewhere between 72 and 75 was appropriate, and only 4% supported raising Social Security payments to past age 65. This is Kathy McBreen. Thanks for watching.